This is Promote Systems, and today we're talking about how to do advanced bulb ramping with the Promote Control. For those who just joined us, bulb ramping is a technique useful when you want to take a time-lapse video of a sunset or other conditions with smoothly changing light, and need to vary your exposures in very small increments. In the previous video, we described basic bulb ramping with the Promote Control, where you can program exposure changes. However, often this is not enough to cover the whole range of exposures. Imagine you are shooting a sunset where you have to start with quite short exposures in daylight and gradually transition to almost complete darkness and show how stars light up in the sky one by one. Here, we will need a much wider range of exposures than a basic bulb ramping mode allows. This can be done by using additional neutral density filters, which you can add or remove during your sequence, as well as ramping the ISO. Advanced bulb ramping mode in the Promote Control allows both. You can program up to three ND filters and define a range of ISO you want to shoot in. The Promote Control will then automatically calculate the sequence and will prompt you if you need to either remove or add an ND filter. Use the following workflow to set up your Promote Control for advanced bulb ramping. Make sure your Promote Control and your camera are set up as described in Part 1 of our Bulb Ramping Instructional Series. Make sure your camera is set to Manual Focus, switched to Bulb Mode, and the Drive Mode is set to Single. Also make sure that Auto ISO is disabled. In addition to the shutter and bulb ramping cables required by regular bulb ramping mode, connect the USB cable supplied with the Promote Control. This connection is required for changing camera ISO. Enable Advanced Bulb Ramping in Promote Control Setup menu. Set the lowest auto ISO for advanced bulb ramping. Set up setting to the lowest ISO setting available with your camera. On most cameras, this would be ISO 100, while some other cameras may go as low as ISO 50, often referred to as low. Some cameras may have ISO 200 as their minimum. Consult your camera user manual for details. Set the highest auto ISO for advanced bulb ramping. Set up setting to the highest ISO setting your camera can offer without introducing too much image noise. With most modern cameras, ISO 3200 would be a good choice, while some on advanced, low-noise cameras such as Canon EOS 5D Mark III and ISO of 6400 or even higher may still be usable. Note that the wider the ISO range you set between lowest and highest, the more flexibility Promote Control can offer in advanced bulb ramping mode. As always, with bulb-related modes, make sure you calibrate shutter close delay. Before you start your bulb ramping sequence, you may want to consult the bulb ramping checklist to make sure everything is set up correctly. This checklist is available as a free download from the Promote Systems website, which is linked below. Once everything is set up, press Start button on the Promote Control you will see the Advanced Bulb Ramping Mode option screen. If at any time you need to go back to the original bulb ramping settings, just press the Mode button. Our goal with Advanced Bulb Ramping is to verify that the Promote Control was able to fit our sequence into the attainable exposure range. If the attempt was unsuccessful, we can go back to bulb ramping mode to change certain settings, or use ND filters in the advanced bulb ramping screen to rectify the issue. The Promote Control will try to suggest a suitable solution, making your choice easier. The advanced bulb ramping screen looks similar to this one. Note that depending on your bulb ramping settings, the actual values will differ. The Promote Control analyzes the current sequence and tries to fit the requested start and end exposure to what it can safely time by automatically ramping the camera ISO. The screen should read as follows. The Promote Control will start with using a shutter speed of 1 20th and end with 2 seconds. 
Note that these may be different from the start and end exposure times you have set in order to fit within the interval you requested and or escape the limitation on the shortest possible exposure time. This change will be matched by a corresponding change in ISO values. This happens in advanced bulb ramping when you choose a start or end exposure time that is longer than your set interval. The ISO values are calculated automatically to provide the same exposure level as requested originally, while keeping actual shutter speeds within allowable limits. Current parameters are good to go. Press Start to begin taking pictures. If current settings need to be changed, a variation of the following screen may be displayed. The shutter value long means the promote control was trying to fit the end exposure within the interval limit, but the currently allowed max auto ISO in the promote control setup is not high enough to make it happen. Set highest auto ISO in the setup menu higher or try increasing your bulb ramping interval in the bulb ramping screen. Press mode to get there. If either the start or end shutter speeds reads short, it means the current sequence cannot be completed without using ND filters. In some cases, the promote control will be unable to accommodate a bright daylight scene without using ND filters. For these cases, the promote control provides a way to handle ND filters while doing bulb ramping photography. It's best to use ND filters that can easily be slid into place, like the Koken series. To let the promote control know you plan on using ND filters, change the default setting of ND to anything except none. The following values are available. Start means you plan on starting with ND filters and removing them when the promote control asks you to do so. End means you plan on starting without ND filters and adding them when the promote control asks you to do so, ending the sequence with ND filters put on. Keep means you'd like to add them in the beginning and keep them on during the complete image sequence. This option is often preferred if you plan on leaving your camera rig unattended during the bulb ramping image sequence. If the promote control calculation shows that ND filters are needed, it will suggest to either start or end with ND filters. You may either follow the advice or try the keep option instead. If you decide to keep ND filters, the promote control will try to use ISO ramping to correct for ND filter presence, doing all necessary calculations automatically. If it can, it will prompt you to proceed. When prompted to use an ND filter, use the following workflow. Choose a setting for ND filter policy as advised by Promote Control, Start or End. You may also try using a setting of Keep. Now you can specify up to three separate ND filters to be used. Enter one or more non-zero filter values according to filters you have on hand. If a filter value is set to 0, that value will not be used and is equal to no filter at all. All non-zero filter values will be used simultaneously. When the ND filter policy is set to anything other than none, a variation of the following line appears. The top line indicates that you would like to start with a set of two ND filters. It will say end or keep if you elected one of those options instead. The first filter of one EV and the other of two EV. The promote control does the following. First, it recalculates the start exposure accordingly. If all exposures can be done safely, it will allow you to proceed. Then, when you press start, it will prompt you to put the filters on and press start again to continue. If you choose to start, or end with ND filters, it will expect you to be around to add or remove specified filters one by one when prompted by a message on the promote control screen. If you choose to keep ND filters, it will not expect you to be around for filter handling. 
The Keep setting is therefore handy when you do not want to closely watch the Promote Control screen for filter handling messages. Important: The ND filter handling routine assumes the start and end exposures were metered without ND filters. If you did meter with ND filters on, you must use the None setting for ND filters in advanced bulb ramping mode. If you meter with filters and try to use Start, End, or Keep settings for the ND filters, the filters will be applied twice and the resulting exposures will be incorrect. We hope that this series of videos will help you get the most out of your Promote Control and produce stunning examples of bulb ramping videos. Please visit our website at promote-control.com for more information including examples of bulb ramping time lapses taken by Promote Control users.